For this segment, we will be focusing on the headlight and headlight only. So what I'll do is make sure we isolate just those headlight elements. So hide everything else. And I believe the headlight sits in the, uh, the main exterior layer. So that's why we have to manually hide a lot of these things. So unhide the exterior. Well, actually, no. Stand corrected. The headlight sits in the front lights layer. So we'll hide all these other layers. We'll just unhide the front lights. Now, the next thing we'll check is to make sure. So see right now, we select this glass. This glass gets selected as well. So while that is nice that it, they're already grouped, however, what happens if there's some elements that I want to manually detach and separate out, this will prevent me from doing so easily. So the first thing we want to do is make sure these are perfectly centered in the, uh, the 3D space. So if I press G to turn on the grid, this solid black line, this represents our origin in terms of 0, 0, 0 in our CGI world. If, uh, if our pivot point, which is this crosshair right here, sits centered perfectly uh, between these two objects, it should, in theory, sit 0 on one of these values. So the way to test this is, as you can see right now, the pivot point is sitting on this headlight, but both of these are the same object. So we have to go to this center icon, this hierarchy tab, click on Effect Pivot Only, and click on center to object. So now the pivot point is centered in between those two objects. As you can see in our X axis, it is perfectly zeroed out, which is exactly what we want. So what that means is our car is perfectly centered and whatever is on this side could perfectly mirror on this side as long as we're using the, uh, the zero X axis. So the next thing to do is to go and remove half of these headlights. Now what I will do is for this type and my shortcut for centering pivot point is c on the keyboard so i'm going to keep this type because this is not a uh, a mirror however i don't want the other half of these lights so to do so what i'll do is go back select the type then do Control i then i'm going to select all the objects then with all of them selected i'm going to add a edit poly modifier Click on this element selection, select this whole side, press delete. There we go. And now I'm going to press C to center the pivot points. So now all of our headlight assets are all centered and on the, uh, the right side only. We're not worried about the passenger side. Now, <clears throat> to kind of show you what we'll do is this type right here that is not uh, a perfect symmetry because it's uh, inside out and it would read backwards. We left that one as is, but everything else is good to go. So when we're going to final, what we'll do is go to uh, use working pivot, which makes it that 0, 0, 0, 1. And then we click this icon, which is the mirror icon. And as long as we do it as an instance, we get a perfect mirror. So we only have to do the work once and we just flip it on the other side and we know it's going to be a hundred percent the same. So for consistency, that's what I'd like to do. So now that we're going into it, what we have to do is start or assigning materials to the headlight. Now, kind of going back to what we saw with the, uh, the wheel where a lot of the textures were labeled one thing and not really representing properly what the car is, I am kind of just going to look at reference images and just start from scratch. So here's a good image I found of the headlight. And if I zoom in, this looks like plastic to me. This just looks like a plastic finish. And from what I'm seeing here, <clears throat> this is carbon rough. So this is not a carbon fiber finish, as you can see from these photos, unless they paint it black. But I'm not seeing any carbon fiber weave showing up. So that's why I'm just going to use our plastic diffused. I'm going to copy it, Plastic Diffuse, name it 02, because I want to give it a little bit more of a highlight than what we've had in the past, just to show off some of the shape of these edges and the rolls of the details of the light. So I'm going to bump up the color of the reflection, like so. Turn on RT. <clears throat> so now we can kind of see what we're working with. There we go. Now, 
The next thing is <clears throat> the glass material. So what we'll do is go down to an empty material slot, create a Corona legacy material. And right now I've kind of left all the, uh, the materials we've created for the tire in the scene. So that way, if I want to reuse any of the metals or whatnot, I could without having to recreate them. So we'll make the diffuse pure black. We'll assign it to the glass. <clears throat> make the reflection one. Make the refraction one. And <clears throat> now what we have to do is make sure that this is not getting a distorted uh, see-through effect. And if it is, the solution to that is adding a shell modifier to our glass. But from what I'm seeing, the glass already has depth, which is exactly what we need. In CGI, you cannot have a 2D glass surface. You usually always want to have some kind of depth to it. Now, with that being said, if you do want to use a 2D glass surface, you have to make sure you check uh, thin, no refraction effect. And that will fix it, but I would not recommend using that. I just recommend adding a shell modifier to add some thickness to it. All right, so now we're going to hide that. I'm going to open, put this on my other monitor. There we go. All right, so then we have this glass right here, which is kind of like a frosted glass. So we'll just copy this over. And we didn't name this, so we'll just name this glass clear. And we'll name this one glass frost. We'll assign it to that. And then what we have to do is under the refraction, under the glossiness, Put in like 0 0.8, 0 0.7. There we go. That'll do that for now. Now, this is our daytime running light. We'll just assign glass clear on that. Like so. Now, this is going to be the uh, reflector of the, uh, the headlight. So, the way I do my reflectors is I do it in a two-tone car paint type of concept. So we're going to do a Corona Legacy material for our base coat. We're going to assign this and we're going to name this Reflector Base. We're going to make the diffuse something semi-dark like an 8. Turn on Reflection. Change this IOR to an 8 so we get the chrome effect. Now for Reflection Glossiness, make it like a 0 0.7 make this actually from 8 to 64 so we're really cranking the reflection attributes of this material <clears throat> to make it really pop and now what we'll do is uh, click on the same word corona legacy material and make it a corona layered material click keep and we're just going to copy the base layer into the first material make sure it's a copy not an instance and we're going to name this reflector clear and on this one the glossiness will be a one because reflectors are very chrome like but they diffuse which is why i usually do it in a two-tone kind of card paint style then for the mask we're doing a fall off for now and then index of reflection we're making an eight 16. so that is kind of how i do my refractor or re yeah reflectors reflectors material sorry getting a little Lost with words. All right, so the next thing is looking at what we have. Let's see what this material is labeled to be. Chrome. Well, looking at the photos on what I'm seeing, <clears throat> this is black plastic. This is not chrome. So what we'll do is we'll select this, select this, and we're going to apply our black plastic diffuse too. There we go. These items. I'm not quite sure what they are, if they're reflectors or if they're glass. So I am going to see what they look like with both finishes. The glass isn't really giving us the look that we want. <clears throat> so I'm putting the reflector material on them. Now this Lamborghini design type and make sure we go and select the other side as well right away. So this one, I am going to do the uh, the Lamborghini uh, brem or break branding. I'm going to assign that one to that. There we go. Now this right here, we're going to assign the black plastic diffuse 02 to it. Like so. Same thing to this object. On this one, we're going to do our glass clear. And then on the back side of it, we're going to do the uh, reflector material. Make sure you select this inside area as well. There we go. 
Now, this one, as you can see, nope, it has a shell to it. Perfect. So there we go. We have that. This inside pocket back here is also supposed to be black. And now this outside, oh, we'll apply the, uh, the glass clear to this as well. And then this outside one, from what I'm seeing, it looks a lot like our rim material, but a little bit more diffused. So what we'll do is we'll drag and drop our rim, and we'll just name this Headlight Metal, like so. We're going to assign this, make this about a 0.6. Bump up the uh, the RGB of the diffuse to maybe a 20 because it is it is pretty bright. So kind of like that. All right. And so before we go ahead and start mirroring, we're gonna un well don't unhide all yet. We'll work all inside out. So select these objects. The things that as you can see we're getting some uh, lack of edge detail. So we're just going to select all of them. And then we will add the uh, the Turbo Smooth modifier. And now in the previous tutorial, I explained how I have it as the, uh, a hotkey. So that's what I'm doing is once I select all these elements, I just press W on my keyboard and that assigns it. Bump it up to two. There we go. Now I'm going to do unhide all. Click no, because I only want to work with the headlight layer. The headlight. And then what I do want is I want it all instance. So I'm going to copy it from one of these other objects. So now for the glass, I'm just going to right click and do paste instance. And what this does, it allows me to turn it on and off on the whole headlight in just one click. So we'll do that. This object, yep, we'll add it to this as well. Paste instance and paste instance so that that is that and i usually don't ever unhide all my layers i just unhide the objects within the layers. so i usually show do not show this and then click no so now the only thing we have to do is select this type then control i for invert selection deselect that and uh what i'm going to do is stop real-time preview sometimes it might crash if you have real-time preview on and you do these kind of uh, operations like mirroring out of nothing so what i'll do is just mirror it uncheck that so now as you can see we have these beautiful headlights so we're just going to unhide the uh, exterior and now our car is slowly coming together now what we'll do is just zoom in, kind of reference the photos that I have open on the other monitor, see if uh, things are just looking a little out of place. And we might want to, this headlight metal one, just bump it up just a little bit more. And it looks like it could use a little bit of a bump map. So I'll just put a noise modifier into the, uh, the bump of it. Let's see what one does, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and then the bump amount, we'll do 0.1, see what that looks like. Here we go. See, that's feeling good. All right, so that is now our headlight. And while we're at it, we'll, uh, we'll just do this yellow paint real quick, this accent color on the car. It's not rocket science, it's very simple, but visually when we're gonna look at a car, it's just gonna make it more appealing to look at. So we'll just select this yellow trim. We're gonna change it to Corona legacy material. And because this is a very simple material, it's not like we need a crazy metallic finish or anything. I'm just making the diffuse the color I want, turning on the reflection to one. And I'm just toning the reflection color down a little bit so we get some of that yellow juice back into it. So there we go. So now that way our at least quick previews of the exterior starts looking a little more proper. And then that is our, uh, that's our headlight tutorial. And then one thing I do, so again, this is kind of, we're, we might as well just fix this while we're at it. For whatever reason, the, uh, the backside of this badge on the hood 
is not looking like it should. So first things first, I'll just see what material they're recommending this is. Plastic dark rough. Well, I think from the reference I saw, it was pretty glossy. So I'm just going to assign her plastic gloss material to that. And then let's go see if there's an emblem on the back. Nope, it's just a Lamborghini type. All right. And then what we'll do is on the door, we'll go ahead and pop that in there. Same thing here, just so we kind of cover those things up. And then uh, we'll work our way through the other materials in the next segments.